Hello friends, welcome to Tristech Institute and in today's safe storage tutorial series we will be discussing about Rados uh, block device that is RBD. So in this episode mainly we will be uh, focusing on how you can configure your shape cluster for RBD then how you can create an RBD image then import that to a client and mount it either manually or automatically. So the content as I was telling you first thing we will be doing we will be creating RBD pools then second thing we will be doing we will be creating RBD user and respective keyring for that user and then we will be creating RBD images and then we will be mounting those RBD images to the client either manually or automatically. So let's start the demonstration. So for this demonstration, I am using Safe uh, Community Edition Queen C, this 17.2.5. This is the latest version, but same steps you can follow on other versions like uh, Pacific or Octopus or even on the Enterprise Editions like Red Hat Safe Storage or Suze Safe Storage. So first thing what we will be doing, we will be creating a pool for our RBD images. So that is very easy, Safe OSD pool create let's say my rbd that will be the pool name and then let's see uh, pg number will be 16 okay sorry one minute yeah let's do again because that user was different so pool is created once you create the pool then you have to initiate this pool as a rbd image so for that rbd pool init my rbd so once you are done with that it will be initiating that pool as your rbd pool so you can verify that using safe osd dump and then graph for my rbd so application type you will be seeing like rbd so once that is done you need to create a user for this rbd so that's for that safe auth you will be using get or create let's say username will be client uh, dot my rbd dot let's say uh, i want to do it on chef 3 i'll be mounting it so i'll be giving like chef uh, 3 then we'll be giving the capability so mon profile rbd so i want this user will only will be able to uh, use for rbd so osd profile rbd once this is done then you have to give where your keyring file will be saved so etc chef client dot now you have to give the username so you put same thing my rbd pool name dot chef3 dot keyring so here you put chef dot cluster name chef dot client dot my rbd dot chef 3 dot keyring so this will create the keyring you can verify etc chef dot uh, client dot my rbd so this keyring is created now once this keyring is created what you need to do you need to copy this keyring and the chef dot con file to that uh, client node. So here I'll be using Chef3 as my client. So already that has uh, respective con file. So I will not copy the con file from here. So I'll be just copying the keyring file. So Chef3 into etc Chef. Root at the rate. Okay let me okay so that doesn't have the directory so let me go once into that node so let me check it is chef okay so the directory is not there so i'll be creating the directory so i'll be copying both the keyring and also chef dot console so scp chef etc chef chef dot conf to chef 3 so once that is done i'll be going to the node 
Now, once you come here, you need to use that ID, whatever we use to create the RBD. So for that, I'll be just doing export chef underscore argument so that I no need to manually provide the ID every time I run the RBD related commands. So ID equals to my RBD dot chef3 so don't put like client dot my rbd dot chef3 here only my rbd dot chef3 that is the id for the user we created once that is done now i can run the rbd related command so rbd ls now i have to put the pool name so that is my rbd so rbd command is not there so for that you need to install the chef common packages so it will take some time let's install it so this f common package has the rbd uh, command in build so all the rbd related uh, library files and everything will be there in chef common package so once this is done we'll be again checking back with the rbd command so let it finish So it is done. Now do that. So my RBD pool doesn't have an image. So that's why it is giving blank. So I'll create an image. So let's say RBD create my RBD pool name, then image name. So let's say image name is image one. And then you specify the size. So hyphen hyphen size equals to let's say I want to create it as a 1 GB. Now, if I do LS, I'll see image 1. Now, if I want to uh, see the information about this image, so I'll just do RBD info pool slash image name. So, you can see it is created with 1 GB size. So, once it is created, then you need to map it. So, still now this uh, RBD image is not mapped to this chef 3 client. So, for that, you need to run the command rbd map my rbd slash image one so this will create a device file dev rbd zero so it will be mapped in your local machine so you can verify that mapped what all are the mapped rbd images so for that you run rbd show mapped so it will see uh, from which pool which image is mapped to your system and what is the local device file for that now once you have this device file you just format it as you do for any normal uh, disk so you do that then you create a directory slash let's say my rbd and then you mount it slash dev rbd0 mnt my rbd so it will be mounted like that so this is manual method if you want to now do it automatically like every time you restart your server and all it should be mounted automatically for that you need to use rbd map so let's do that let's unmount first then rbd unmap dev rbd zero so just uh, chef dot client dot so this file name i need so just copy this then i'll open a file called etc chef rbd map so here the format will be your uh, pool name so my pool name is my rbd and then slash image name so image one so id is uh, my rbd dot chef three and the key ring is i already copied so this is the key ring so this file will be used to automatically map the rbd images so save this one and then run the command rbd map map so now you do lsblk you should see rbd zero is mapped and also if you do uh, df-h it will not be there because I didn't add any fs tab entry so for that etc fs tab you do either you put slash dev slash rbd0 or you put slash dev slash rbd slash 
pool name so pool name is my rbd and then slash image one it will be mounted in mnt uh, my rbd it is as a xfs let's say it is uh, no auto and uh, let's say underscore net day because it's a network device so once you're done with this unmount mnt my rbd sorry uh, i didn't mount it right so mount hyphen a so you'll see like it is uh, mounted also so you can see here cat etc fs tab uh, my rbd so the directory i have created as a my rbd so like this you can do that so let's do that uh, rbd on map slash dev slash rbd zero then you do system ctl enable rbd map so next time if you reboot your system you will see like this rbd devices images whatever you have exported to this particular client so they are getting uh, mapped automatically and mounted automatically now let's say you want to delete this rbd image so you that is very easy rbd rm so before that i need to unmount rbd show mapped it's not mounted so rbd rm my rbd slash image one i'll give hyphen hyphen let's say id equals to uh, my rbd dot chef three so you can see this rbd image is removed so you do rbd ls my rbd you will see that image is no more there so like this very easily you can work with rbd you can create rbd image you can then map it to a client you can mount it format it use it either you mount it automatically or you manually mount it so like this you can use the rbd or rados block device so thank you thanks for watching this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe it and also press the bell icon so that you get notification of upcoming videos and if you have already subscribed to my channel thanks for that please keep watching the videos we'll see you in our next video thank you bye